Have you ever gazed at the night sky, dazzled by the stars and wondered, what is the life of a star? Ah, the great cosmic question that has fascinated humans for centuries. Amidst the inky blackness, those twinkling points of light represent a vast, mysterious universe just waiting to be explored. But what if we told you that those stars are not just static specks of light, that they are, in fact, dynamic entities with an existence as fascinating, complex, and transient as our own lives? Yes, stars are born, they live, and they die. Their life cycle is a magnificent cosmic dance that unfolds over millions, sometimes billions of years. It's a dance that involves immense forces, incredible temperatures, and mind-boggling distances. A dance that produces not only light and heat, but also the very elements that make up our world and indeed our bodies. So, come with us on this cosmic journey as we delve into the birth, life, and death of stars. The birth of a star, a celestial event of grand proportions, begins in a place known as a nebula. Picture a nebula as a vast, sprawling expanse of cosmic dust and gas. It's not unlike a nursery, but instead of babies, it's where stars begin their journey. Within these nebulae, the cosmic dust and gas start to gravitate towards each other due to the inherent pull of gravity. As this material coalesces, it forms a dense region known as a cloud core. This is the very heart of a future star. Over time, this cloud core continues to accumulate more and more material, growing larger and denser. Now, let's turn up the heat. As the cloud core draws in more matter, the pressure and temperature within it increase. This is where the magic happens. At a certain point the temperature becomes so high that hydrogen atoms inside the core start to fuse together, creating helium. This process is known as nuclear fusion, and it's the same reaction that powers our sun. This fusion reaction releases an enormous amount of energy in the form of heat and light, creating a glow bright enough to pierce the darkness of space. At this stage the cloud core has transformed into what we call a protostar. It's not quite a star yet, but it's well on its way. The protostar continues to grow and evolve, with nuclear fusion steadily burning at its core. The heat generated by this reaction creates an outward pressure, balancing the inward pull of gravity. This delicate balance between gravity and pressure is what defines a star. When the protostar has gathered enough mass and the forces within it reach equilibrium, it transitions into a main sequence star. This means it's now able to sustain nuclear fusion in its core on its own, shining brightly and proudly in the cosmos. And thus, after millions of years in the making, a star is born. From a nebula's cosmic dust and gas to a glowing beacon in the night sky, each star we gaze upon has undergone this extraordinary journey of transformation. Once born, a star embarks on a long and radiant journey, illuminating the cosmos. The star's life, much like our own, is a story of balance, struggle, and transformation. But what is it that gives a star its characteristic glow? How does a star live? Let's delve into the radiant life of a star. In the heart of a star, a grand spectacle unfolds. This spectacle, also known as nuclear fusion, is the power source of a star. It's a process where hydrogen atoms combine to form helium, releasing an enormous amount of energy in the form of light and heat. This energy radiates out from the core, making its way to the star's surface, and finally, after a long journey that can take thousands of years, it bursts forth into the cosmos. It's this energy that we see as the twinkling of a star, millions of light years away. However, it's not all smooth sailing for our celestial bodies. In fact, they are in a constant tug of war. On one hand, we have the outward push of radiation pressure from nuclear fusion, and on the other, the inward pull of gravity trying to collapse the star. This delicate balance determines a star's stability. When these forces are in harmony, a star is said to be in a state of hydrostatic equilibrium, living a calm and steady life. But stars, like people, come in all sizes and varieties. The size, temperature and brightness of a star are key characteristics that distinguish one star from another. Smaller stars, known as red dwarfs, are relatively cool and dim. They burn their fuel slowly, living for billions, even trillions of years. On the other hand, massive stars are hot and bright, but they live fast and die young. Their intense nuclear reactions consume their fuel rapidly, leading to a lifespan of just a few million years. Then we have our medium-sized stars like our very own sun. With a moderate temperature and brightness these stars have a stable life, burning their fuel at a steady rate and illuminating our cosmos for about 10 billion years. In between these extremes we find a spectrum of stars each with their unique traits and stories, from blue giants to yellow dwarfs, each star adds a new chapter to the cosmic narrative, 
each one playing a role in the grand tapestry of the universe. So, the twinkling stars we see every night are in a constant battle of forces living their long and radiant lives. They light up the night sky not just as beautiful spectacles but as living, breathing entities, each with their own tale of struggle and balance, each a testament to the intricate and awe-inspiring mechanics of our universe. All good things must come to an end, and so it is with stars. As they exhaust their nuclear fuel, stars undergo dramatic transformations leading to their eventual demise. The final act of a star's existence is defined by its mass at birth, and it's a spectacle worth delving into. Let's start with the smaller stars, those with a mass up to eight times that of our sun. These stars live a relatively sedate life, burning hydrogen into helium over billions of years. As they exhaust their fuel, they swell into red giants, with outer envelopes extending as far as the orbit of Mars. The core, now depleted of hydrogen, starts to contract under its own gravity, reaching temperatures high enough to burn helium into heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. But the fireworks are just getting started. When the helium is used up, the core contracts again, while the outer layers of the star expand even more, creating a planetary nebula. The hot, dense core that remains is called a white dwarf. These stellar remnants about the size of Earth but with the mass of the Sun, slowly cool and fade over billions of years. Their glow, fueled by residual heat from their former nuclear fires, gradually dims until they become black dwarfs, invisible to the naked eye. But what about the heavyweights of the stellar world, those with more than eight solar masses? Their fate is decidedly more dramatic. These stars burn through their nuclear fuel at a much faster pace. When they exhaust their resources, they don't just swell into red giants, they become red supergiants. The core, now made up of iron, can't support the star's mass, leading to a catastrophic collapse followed by a supernova explosion. For a brief period, a single supernova can outshine an entire galaxy. The aftermath of a supernova is just as fascinating. If the core that survives the explosion is between one and three times the mass of the sun, it forms a neutron star. These incredibly dense objects, no more than 12 miles across, pack a mass up to three times that of the sun. Imagine a sugar cube with the mass of a mountain, and you're getting close. If the core's mass is more than three times that of the sun, not even neutron degeneracy pressure can prevent its collapse. It forms a black hole, a point in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. These cosmic behemoths continue to influence the universe long after their parent star has faded from view, swallowing matter and warping space-time. From a spectacular explosion to a quiet fade-out, each star meets its end, leaving an indelible mark on the universe. Just like us, stars live and die, and in their death, they seed the cosmos with the elements necessary for life connecting us all in a grand cosmic cycle. The life cycle of stars from birth to death is a cosmic dance of creation and destruction. This fascinating journey spanning millions to billions of years is a testament to the timeless beauty and mystery of our universe. Each star, each speck of light we see in our night sky is a storyteller, narrating a tale of cosmic evolution. To understand the life cycle of stars is to gain a deeper appreciation of our own existence. We are after all made of stellar stuff. The elements that form our bodies were forged in the heart of stars scattered across the cosmos in spectacular supernovae. This knowledge, this understanding doesn't belittle us. Instead, it highlights our connection to the cosmos, our shared heritage with the stars. We're not just observers of the universe, we're a part of it. We're children of the stars. The next time you gaze at the night sky, remember the incredible journey each star has taken and the story it tells in its light. We hope you've enjoyed this cosmic journey as much as we've enjoyed guiding you through it. If you're as fascinated by the universe as we are, don't hesitate to hit that like button, subscribe, and join the conversation below. And remember, keep looking up. The universe has many more stories to tell.